My name is Andrew Ingram and I farm here at Greenfield Farm and my family have been here since 1945. The farm is uh, a very mixed farm, it's uh, highly diversified, it's not a large unit, it's 750 acres in total, of which 350 acres is mature beechwoods. We have 100 acres of countryside stewardship in wildflower meadows, we have 120 acres of conventional arable and we also have 120 acres of Christmas trees. I became aware that photovoltaic was, was probably the purest and the best form of electricity generation but it was uneconomic to, to put it in. And then in 2009 I became aware that the government was thinking of introducing what is now known as a feed-in tariff. The feed-in tariff is a sum of money which is paid to myself for every kilowatt hour of electricity that I generate. So I get 31.4 pence uh, for producing, I get 10 pence in addition if I use it myself, I'm saving that, and I get uh, 3 pence if I export. The panels generating the electricity are on the roof above us, and from there the current comes down these cables to the inverters. There are six inverters in total, three red ones and a further three in there. The electricity is turned, is inverted from direct current to alternating current fit for the grid, i.e. 220 to 240. It comes through this generation meter and you can tell if the generation meter is working by the flashing red impulse there. From there it goes into the switchboard and ultimately to this meter here which is what's known as an import-export meter and that will show you that since it was installed in July we've imported 2,739 units of electricity but we have exported 3,989 units in that period back into the grid. Uh, why I got involved with solar PV was because I start from the fact that I believe that fossil fuels, I don't believe, I know fossil fuels are going to run out at some future moment. And I just feel that we should start thinking about finding alternative ways of uh, heating ourselves and generating electricity. And uh, that was really where my interest in uh, photovoltaic started. One of the reasons I was attracted to photovoltaic is that the maintenance is very minimal. I'm led to believe that probably once a year I should get up and uh, pressure hose the panels off. But my feeling is, is that a good sharp rainstorm or thunderstorm will probably keep them just as clean as that. The, the system <coughs> will produce 90% of the farm and the farmhouse's energy requirements in a year. The total investment for a system which generates 28.8 kilowatt hour peak was £110,000 net of VAT. The income and my saving on buying my own electricity and what I sell to the grid should generate an income of approximately £10,000 per annum. The equipment is expected to last for 25 years, the panels. The inverters, probably between 8 and 12 years, the inverters, I may well have to replace those. Farmers are very um, financial creatures generally and if there's money to be made they will consider it and I think that PV uh, is, is a system that rewards the investor, the person who has a go at it, you can get your money back in somewhere between 10 and 12 years and I think farmers will look at that realistically although they may not necessarily be sold on renewable energy they will look at it as a positive business opportunity, something that they could get involved with and get a, a sensible return and, and have some money you know, back by 10 to 12 years and actually then be in profit for future years after that.